guys are here. I assume he will get that soon. But still only mining out of a single expansion. While the Zerg player is mining out of two. And has therefore a, a better income. Ooh, now getting a lot of Hydralisks loaded into these overlords. And it looks like we're going to see a, a, some sort of a Hydralisk drop right into the main base of pass of the scourge so oftentimes you don't see zerglings utilizing their overlords to drop since of the nidus ne the nidus network but this is going to be very interesting and we'll see how this plays out as first a couple mutalisks get in and then all these overlords pop over they're being destroyed before they can drop out their hydralisks which is very bad but all these hydralisks coming out should be able to destroy these void rays as hydralisks are the best counter that Zerg have towards Void Rays. Focus can sing down the Photon Cannons, and there's a large 16 Hydralisk force right in the middle of the Scorch's base, and he does not have the army to push back. Oh, unless the Hydralisks are just moving towards the Photon Cannons, not really what they should be doing, but still dealing a sizable damage against the Scorch's army, although one Void Ray is able to make it out with a single hit point left. That could have been a lot more devastating if that hit directly on all these probes because the Scourge would then have no more income. But Pastel did what he did and the damage was at least rather good looking at the units lost. Although red has lost a lot more, blue has lost more high, high cost units. Um, and since Pastel has a higher income, he can still stay in the game as he quickly, quickly rebuilds his Hydralisk army. The Scourge is now just scouting out around his map, looking for any expansions that the Zerg player might have, and then meeting all these Hydralisks. Really, to fight off Hydralisks, the Colossi are the best counter. And in order to have Colossi, you need to have some Zealots to um, take the damage from the Hydralisks. And this Stalker Immortal combo is really not good against Hydralisk, so right now Pastel definitely has the upper hand. Moving into attack, getting a good concave around these units, and forcing the Scourge to have to run away from this Hydralisk army. As you can see, the Void Rays now move much more quickly, although these Stalkers and Immortals will be left for dead. Void Ray is now perhaps looking for some harassment to do, as Red has just set up another expansion at the bottom. Although it does not look like... Ooh, the Scourge really has not done much scouting this game, as he has missed all of the expansions that Pastel has set up. Meaning that pa the Scourge has no idea of all the income that Red has at this moment. Switching from the Evolution Chamber just before it was killed, not the best move, although the Spire was taken down, meaning that... Mutalisks will be stalled, at least for now. As over here, all the Hydralisks are moving into the Scorch's base. This may become some sort of base race as the Void Rays are attacking Pastel, as Pastel is completely decimating the Scorch's defense, uh, expansion. Void Rays now not attacking the Hydralisks, but there they go down, as we still have two Void Rays trying to focus down it looks like with the Roach Warren and the Spawning Pool, as we have a mass number of Hydralisks moving up, destroying the cannons, and doing a good move attack to make sure he can get all of his Hydralisks up and dealing damage at the same time. We still have these two Void Rays, which can easily focus down the only anti-air defense that we have here, the Queen. The Queen should go down, and then this hatchery might go down as well. Although Pastel would still have two more expansions, so he's still mining. While well, as you can see on the income pane, the Scourge, the Scourge's income has been completely halted. Using some Void Rays to destroy all of these Overlords. The Overlords need to be moved out, otherwise Pastel is at a risk of becoming food locked. But I don't think that's really what he's worried about as as far as he knows the scourge has been completely destroyed and can really not fight back at all 
Now these Final Void Rays still attacking. If he had just, you know, moved a, c a couple of Hydralisks over here to destroy these Void Rays, they would be completely done for. So that was perhaps a misplay on Pastel's part. But he is re trying. Oh, that this is why he cannot build any units. All of his tech buildings were destroyed. So here he is trying to rebuild his tech. He finally has his Hydralisk in, trying to get Spore Crawlers to defend from the Void Rays, as the Void Rays have proved so so dangerous to the Zerg army. The Hydralisks are finishing off the forces of the Protoss in his base, as all that is left is a Nexus and a couple of Pylons. Where are these being sent to? These are being sent all the way out here. I don't know what he's trying to do. I guess he does not, doesn't even know of the southern expansion, and is perhaps attack. trying to build one final one of his own. But I, this is, so this was some sort of a base race, as the Scourge's base was destroyed, so was Pastel's, although Pastel is sitting at a huge advantage right now, with one more mining base, so he can pr produce units while the uh, the Scourge is completely at a loss here. As you can see, he's being revealed. Um, I, he, he still has these pylons, so he has not quite lost the game yet. But it looks like this should be game for the Scourge, as I'll just let this play out in fast speed. He There's a single probe left, and Pastel has left the game. I am very curious as to what just happened. Oh, I guess the Scourge had... No, what is, what is going on here? Hold on, let me try and see what has happened in this game. Something happened. Pas it said Pastel had left the game, even though he had such an obvious chance to win. I don't know if I missed a Scourge leaving early. I would just try and run through this very quickly. I apologize for having to go back and watch this again, but I have not watched this video before, so I am just as confused to what has happened. So the Scourge is had not rebuilt their base. All these are going to destroy, and the last pylon is destroyed, and I guess Pastel has claimed victory, even though the game continues to run. So this has been the game between Pastel and the Scourge on Metop Metalopolis, and here the Zerg player has won.